It might seem like just another road, but in 10 years, as many as 150,000 cars will be using Route 59. Naperville commuters say they can't wait till then for something to be done about the traffic jams. It's a very busy road during rush hours. Try to avoid it as much as possible because it is pretty congested. I take all the back roads to get to where I need to go in order to avoid the mess. State lawmakers have been fighting all year to pass more than $30 billion capital bill. If the bill goes through, the money would go to state schools, airports, bridges and roads, including the expansion of Route 59 to six lanes. Last September, officials even held a rally urging public support to expand 59. My fear is if we don't address this, and if we don't capture the money that's available uh, by the leadership of our congressional delegation here for Illinois, I'm afraid uh, much more serious problems could happen. So what's been the holdup? State Representative-elect Michael Connolly says Illinois lawmakers are afraid to get the money into Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich's hands. There's a lot of talk in Springfield that the Capitol bill was held up because obviously this man uh, in the governor's office would be uh, you know, using it to his uh, advantage and, and really putting contractors in an uncomfortable position. We caught up with Connolly after attorneys filed corruption charges against Blagojevich. He says now he and other elected officials are hopeful that they'll soon be taking care of two things, Governor Blagojevich and passing the Capitol bill. We go back into session in mid-January so that when this impeachment process is done, we're not starting the Capitol bill at that point. It's already been an ongoing process and we can vote on it hopefully by the end of, the, uh, of this uh, session. Connolly says the bill needs to be passed sooner rather than later because it's on a timeline. If no decision is made within the 2009 session, the state could lose up to $9 billion in matching federal money, leaving Naperville to fend for themselves. We need to show a commitment and a bill to the federal government before we can even be entitled to that money. And commuters saying it doesn't matter when or how, they just want the traffic on 59 to go away. This is something that needs to be taken care of for the people in Naperville. I'm Elitza Bezios for Naperville Community Television, Channel 17.